Hey guys, welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Christia Parker, and now joining me in the studio is Lita Nichols. She's one of the producers of Project Design. How are you, Lita? Good, how are you? Good. I just finished talking to Lauren. She's, I'm so excited for her. Um, tell us a little bit about Project Design. Uh, Project Design is a competition for emerging Midwest designers. Mm -hmm. um, it started on, you know, with an online competition, 20, well, lots and lots of designers submitted their work, right. and then we narrowed it down to 20, and it was um, a three-week process of constant voting yes. online to decide who got to be the top six. And so now we have top six, and Lauren Bander, who designed those, is one of them. Uh, it's really, really exciting. Yeah, I know. Anybody who's on Facebook who has designer friends, they saw like the post, please vote for me, please yeah. vote for me. <laughs> How did you narrow it down to 20 designers? Um, it was just based on purely on votes. Oh, from the 20, yeah. well, um, Rock Uniform is the company I work for. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a PR event planning company. My boss, Dwight Carter, who owns Rack Uniform was one of the people in charge of, you know, just narrowing it down from experience and yeah. if they had been participating in it before, what they had to bring to the table. So it was like a really long process because there were amazing designers right. that submitted their collections, but has to narrow it down to yeah. 20 because there's so much talent in St. Louis. There really, really is, and this is great way to showcase it. Yeah, <laughs> well, we were just talking, this is the seventh season of Project Design, mm -hmm. and it's so awesome because. Uh, Several of the contestants have gone on to Project Runway. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that? Who are some of the ones that have gone on? Yeah, um, Michael Drummond um, with the Exquisite Corpse, that's the name of his line. Mm -hmm. Laura Kathleen and um, also uh, AJ Tuvnut. Yes, and he um, yeah. is a very memorable person yes. because he has such a loud personality yes. and he was, you know, definitely a character that stood out on Project Runway. So that's it's great. really awesome to get such national exposure. Um, yes, so the night, October 9th. So, okay, we narrowed it down to six people and it was all votes, but the la the night that they show, how are we gonna find out who the winner is? That's really exciting. We have a panel of judges, which mm -hmm. are all um, people in St. Louis that are involved in the fashion scene. They are going to vote for the grand prize winner based on, you know, the appearance of the clothing, their lines, etc. But there's also People's Choice winner, and that's going to be determined by Twitter votes. People in the audience are going to vote on Twitter, and there will be a live feed count. Oh, and that's whoever awesome. gets the most um, votes for Twitter will get to get the People's Choice Award. So tell us, where will it be held this year? The St. Louis Science Center Explorer Dome. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see that runway. That yeah. is going to be really, really cool. <laughs> it's really exciting. Now, something new this year. There was a challenge this year with the contestants. Tell mm -hmm. us about that. Uh, Chevy is one of the sponsors, mm -hmm. and they came up with this great challenge where they sent the designers on a trip to the GM Design Center mm -hmm. in Detroit. Um, and also the Heritage Center where the designers got to see all the different cars that Chevy has ever made. They got to talk to the designers of the GM vehicles wow. and talk about how fashion inspires um, car design. So mm -hmm. they have to base a look, one of their looks on the runway from a Chevy that is so cool. Mm -hmm. So project, I feel like this is project design live. Yeah. Or not project, project runway live. Yeah, it is very <laughs> similar to project runway. <laughs> There's a lot going on that week. So talk a little bit about what else is going on that week. Um, the Let's see, there is a show at Macy's mm -hmm. um, in the Galleria. There is one at Plaza Frontenac. It's going to be a really wide range of Different fall fashion. Shows. Yeah. And, um, cool. You can look online to a live magazine or follow us on Facebook and there's tons of information about every single night what's going on. That's so cool. What are you looking forward to most from the show? Project design. Project design, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited because all of the designers are so incredibly talented. Yes. They're all so different. Every single one is so different. So I'm really excited about it that. It is really cool because I've been to several of them and it's so cool because you can feel like the support, all their friends and family are there to support them to see their, room, their show, their clothes on the runway. So that is really, really cool and exciting. Guys, all that information is on your screen. I want to thank you so much, Lita, for being here with us thank today. You. Can't Wait for project design. Um, thanks so much for being with us. You guys remember to keep up with STL TV. You got to friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always catch us streaming live at stltv.net. Stay tuned to STL TV. We've got a lot more coming up.